Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome to the last day of 30 days of sketches. Today's sketch is by Holly Fiercely and it is a two page layout. Now she has seven photos on her sketch. I am going to be using five uh, because this is what I have left um, for two page sketches for the layouts that I am working on. So I'm making the sketch work for me. Uh, just as a heads up, these are, are some of our Christmas trees from 2021. Um, as you can see, our gaudy tree is halfway dead. Not a lot of decorations on these. Um, these three, this tree has been replaced. This has more decorations. This has more decorations. And this one has more de decorations, which is the biggest Christmas tree, although you can't tell from these photos. So these three are the same size. Uh, I think they are seven feet trees. This is a seven and a half foot tree, and this is a nine foot, nine, nine foot tree. Um, so those are some of the Christmas trees. I have two sheets of glitter paper that I'm going to be using as my background. I got my photos, my sketch, and my Christmas stuff. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys. So this layout actually comes together uh, pretty quickly, and... It's a really simple layout, and I think that that's okay, right? Like, I've got a lot of photos on here. I've got a big glittery background, and there's a lot to look at even without a lot of decoration on it. So I'm using the glittery backgrounds, and I only had one sheet of this LA Studio Christmas tree paper. So what I did was I went ahead and uh, cut it out in strips so that I would be able to treat this as if it was a full and complete photo mat, right? Because you and I both know that uh, one sheet of paper sometimes isn't enough, right? Sometimes you wish you had more. Now I did have more. I had another sheet of paper uh, with this uh, Christmas tree print on it. However, I used it many years ago when I first got this collection. So had to make do with what I had. Now in Holly's sketch, she does go ahead and have the photos uh, both off of the edges of the page and it is photo matted. Now, because of the amount of photos and the shape of my photos, and I really wanted to use the four by six ones. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna have my photos kind of go off the edge of the page uh, plus, had to do that to make it work uh, where, you know, um, I could only use that one sheet of paper that I had. So uh, after we made it work with that, uh, then I really didn't have any issues. Well, my issues came up was trying to figure out how the heck I was gonna decorate this. Cause like I said, there's a lot going on on this layout. Um, especially with all of the Christmas trees and that beautiful halfway lit Christmas tree on the end. Our poor little gaudy tree. Um, so anyway, I am trying to figure out how I want to decorate this. I'm thinking, okay, maybe I want more Christmas trees. Maybe I don't want more Christmas trees. Maybe I want flowers. Maybe I want snowflakes. I really had no idea how in the world this layout was going to end up coming together. So I am going to go through a lot of options. We're going to go through this entire die cut box and I'm just kind of thinking like, what in the heck am I going to do? I really have no idea. And then I was like, Ooh, merry cheer. There we go. Lots of Christmas words thrown together. It's going to give me uh, a big old, <laughs> big old thing right here. So I'm thinking that this will be good. And then, uh, after that, I'm like, okay, well, I got to add a little bit of decoration to this. So what does that look like, right? I'm trying to I'm trying to figure that out. I'm just trying to think is something like wrong? <laughs> Who knows? Um, so I end up grabbing that. I am uh, stupid happy with it, right? Like sometimes um, you, you come up with something that you just are unsure about and it works out and that really just feels good. I love it when the thing just works out. Uh, it's really troublesome when it doesn't work out uh, and it just feels good when it does. So it works out. I'm going to bring in a couple more little decorations here 
just to kind of um, represent the three areas of embellishment that she has on the sketch here, right? Um, my title's kind of in the same place, and then she's got these three areas of embellishment, and they aren't exactly going to be in the same place because of the way I have the photos uh, lined up across the page. I'm also going to basically ignore the splatter that's on the layout because I do have this glitter paper as my background and I did not think that the splatter was going to turn out in too fast, fantastic of a way there, right? So I'm not, I'm not stressing about that, uh, but there is a uh, mixed media on that page. I just blanked. My mind just turned off for a second there. Uh, so there is mixed media on this page and um, on the layout sketch, I should say. And if I wouldn't have chose chosen this glitter background, I definitely would have gone with uh, something else so that I could have put that mixed media on there. Probably would have brought in a stencil. Um, I'm just saying, like, if, if I wouldn't have chosen the glitter paper as the background. But honestly, you guys, I was looking for Christmas paper that I had two of, and it's slim pickings. I don't usually buy two of the same papers anymore. I used to be, a, every time I bought paper, I had to buy two. Um, but I've really changed that over the years, and I really only buy the paper I like and I know that I'll use. So I didn't have a lot left. And I didn't want to do plain cardstock. Um, I really didn't have a reason why, uh, other than I just didn't want to. And I feel like the last two page layout I did of Christmas was on plain cardstock. And I, I wanted something a little bit different. So um, I am going to mess around with getting all of this chipboard uh, peeled off that sticky backs on there. We're going to add more adhesive because the sticky back sticks like crazy to that chipboard. Uh, but as soon as you peel them off, it's like, where'd the sticky go? It's not on the sticky back anymore. Uh, that's nice and smooth and not sticky at all. But you know what? That sticky part isn't sticky either. Drives me up the freaking wall. Okay, so I am going to decorate uh, with these little bits right here. Sorry, you're not seeing all of that because of the sketch in that upper left-hand corner. Um, but you'll be able to see it at the end. You're not really missing anything. It's a couple of stars. Like, it's not... You know, it's not rocket science. This is a real basic, basic layout. And I think that that's fine. You know, sometimes I want to do all the things in my scrapbooking. And sometimes I just want a pretty layout that's finished. And that that's going to be this one. Uh, that is a tag. So there needs to be some twine or some ribbon or something in there. So there isn't a naked tag hole. I'm going to go ahead and cut a section off. Tie a bow on that bad boy. Dollop my glue where the tag hole is and go ahead and get that down there. And then this is gonna do it for this layout, you guys. There isn't uh, gonna be anything else. Uh, these are Christmas trees of that year. That's that's kind of obvious. Um, it's obvious that half the tree is dark, so some lights were busted. Like there's, there's nothing I really want to say. There's no real stories behind this. Um, I've told the story of my love of Christmas trees and how I add a Christmas tree almost every year um, many, many times on many, many layouts. And I don't feel the need to do it here, right? I just don't. Um, look at the pictures. Look at the Christmas trees. Enjoy the pretty. Like, that's that's what I want anyone looking at this double page layout to do. You don't need a story, <laughs> right? Right. Okay, so after I uh, get the rest of uh, this stuff uh, down with some Nouveau Deluxe adhesive. This is going to do it. That's it. So you guys, I really appreciate the fact that you've stuck around with me for two months while we've been doing sketches for Follow a Sketch February and 30 Days of Sketches. It's going to be awesome uh, starting April 1st, starting the Never Ending Kit. I built my kit today. I'll share that video tomorrow. Uh, be sure to check out the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group if you want to see the Follow a Sketch Friday uh, or Follow a Sketch February sketches because Follow a Sketch Friday is coming. And then, um, yeah. So thanks so much for watching, guys. And I will see you guys again real soon for another video.